I can ask you to touch on that first, the, the, the cancer benefit on Saturday. I know that's touched a lot of a lot of your guys' lives over the last couple of years, and including recently. Can, can you talk about what that means to you guys and hopefully to see Ringo back here? Yeah, obviously it means a lot to us right now. I mean, it's hitting home uh, and more and more each day that you hear more people that are affected by it. So uh, obviously if we can wait, uh, raise the awareness and, and – um, Hopefully, like you said, we get Robbie and Dringa back here. Uh, we're trying, and I, I think he said he's going to make it. Uh, so it'll be fun to have him around. But uh, it should be a good event, and hopefully that, we, like we said, we can raise, raise some awareness to it. But it's affecting way too many people, and right now in the hockey circles, it's really affecting a lot of people. Tony talked about this a little briefly yesterday. I wonder if I can ask you a little bit more about it. This, you take a step yesterday and what you did really all weekend, and you've seen a couple times this season where that step doesn't include another step. It kind of takes a step back maybe the next week or the next game. What can you do? What, From your perspective, what do you do to kind of keep that momentum going a little bit through this week and, and into what you hope will be a, a, a better outcome Friday? Yeah, I mean, I, we, we obviously talk about a lot as a staff. We talk a lot about it as a team. But, I mean, and you see our practices day in and day out. So we just keep on demanding and, and keep on pushing forwards. And at some point, um, it's going to lead to a little bit more consistent play. So you're not going to see the ebbs and flows. Um, you know, like you said, uh, all of a sudden, there's been a lot of Friday nights where you, we don't play as well as we would like or don't get the results that we would like. And then the next night, we turn around and, and play extremely well. Um, so you'd like to see that be a little bit more uh, consistent. The competition's outstanding, though. That's the one thing that uh, you, you see right now in college hockey. There's a lot of parity. Uh, I was talking to Kevin Patrick the other day, and just the parity in hockey and the competitiveness across the board in college hockey, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's going to push you. And if you don't prepare yourself to show up uh, each and every night, you're going to be pushed to the limit. And at times, that's what's happened with us. Do you know what, what all is in that Tony's going through right now as far as getting ready for the Olympics with what happened with, with JJ? And um, because I, I know it sounds like he's got a lot more on his plate than he would typically have at this point. Say that again, Brian, because I'm not sure what you. Yeah, well, um, with the passing of, of, of Jim, um, it sounds like Tony's going to be doing a, a lot of additional work right now. Do you know what, what that all entails? Do you know how long he's going to be away from the, the club here? Not, uh, no, not specifically. Obviously, they're. They're all trying to gather their their brains around the whole situation, and and I mean first and foremost show support for, with the family and everybody that's really close uh, with uh, Johansson family. But um, yeah, obviously Tony's going to be dealing with some of it and trying to uh, figure out some of the stuff that uh, JJ dealt with for the Olympics and and see who's going to be doing what and being uh, delegated to. But uh, we haven't talked specifically exactly what's going to happen. I know you, you've signed some of the guys that are in the central scouting rankings today, so you can talk about them anyway. I know you can't talk about everyone, but to see the number of guys that you have on that list, does that get you excited for, for what's coming down the road here and, and that, that high-end talent that uh, could be here in the next few years? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be exciting for – us as a staff, I think anybody in the athletic department is going to be real excited. And I think most importantly, the fans are going to be excited. Um, there's some unreal high-end talent, great character kids, uh, kind of the kids that you want to build your culture around. And uh, that's what we're here to do is continue to push that culture to a higher level and, and have great high expectations. And uh, those kids that have that ability to come in are only going to take us to that level. I know you haven't been here in the last several years, but Penn State, for whatever reason, has has given Wisconsin fits on the ice. Is it the way they play, or is sometimes teams don't match up well with other teams? I don't know if that's the case in this regard. What do you think? Well, they're talented, number one. Uh, they have a high level compete. Uh, Guy Godowski's done a good job with that team in terms of how they play, and he did the same thing wherever he's been. It's always been the same. Uh, he doesn't vary from it, and he's had success at every program that he's been at. So uh, you won't expect much difference with Penn State. But uh, their, their assistant coaches have done a great job recruiting. You see the kids that are in there. Uh, they compete. They skate at a high level. The, the way that they play always makes it difficult to play against. Um, 
they're very quick to transition, and they, they at times try to pin your ears back by um, almost taking chances in the defensive zone and getting a guy in the neutral zone, which obviously they've scored a few goals against us that way, but that's the way they play. They don't change it, so it is, it is a difficult system to play uh, against. Um, but, you know, you give them credit because they've done it day in and day out and year in and year out. The way that Jack Berry played yesterday, you've seen that a few times from him. You've also seen some that have gone the other way from him. Uh, how difficult does that make it, the goaltending situation, when you, you, you maybe not sure which performance you're, you're going to get from, from night to night? Well, it's kind of like our team right now. You don't know at times. Uh, you'd like to see the consistency um, from everybody, not just our goaltenders, not just from our defense, but every, everybody up and down the lineup. Just, I mean, I think that's what a coach is always going to want out of a player. They, whenever they're going to jump the boards, you know what you're going to get. Uh, sometimes it's not going to happen. You're certainly not going to have your A game every night, but you can really understand what they're going to bring to the table every night. So that, that's what we're trying to do is trying to get that consistency uh, and, and try to pull that out each kid so it's very consistent day in and day out each practice. And then uh, obviously that will translate into the games. And, you know, uh, as far as Jack goes, Brian and I talked about it after, after the game last night. I mean, you, you see his game at Penn State. He wasn't excited about how he played. No, I didn't think we played all that well in front of him. So at times we left him out to dry. But, you know, once he was on the bench, he was the best teammate there was. Um, you can't say enough about that. Um, I think that's what it's all about right now for us is being unbelievably great teammates, being very supportive and push guys, make each, make, make each and every one of us better. Uh, and it was great to see Jack have a response with the game that he did yesterday on a big stage. Seamus said something in the effect of, uh, you know, we'd like to play again tomorrow because of how well they played yesterday. Uh, do you sense that too, that all right, hey, all right, look, look what we can do. Let, let's keep going now. Yeah, I think so. I mean, and, and even the games that we've played against Notre Dame, we've played well. Uh, I mean, all four games we've played well. So, you know, the guys should feel good about that. Even even Friday, we didn't come away with the win, but we, we played well. We played well enough to win a game. Um, but you do have to find a way to win. And uh, now you turn... Uh, turn the tide in in Chicago at the United Center, NHL feel. So the guys are excited after walking away from that.